In this video, I'm talking about minding your own business. I think it's important that I make this video because I deal with a lot of business owners to explain, basically, I have a digital marketing firm. Whenever I retain somebody as a monthly client, they've never dropped off. So I have a 100% retention rate when it comes to my clients. Some people might be like, what, what does that mean? That means that if I start working with somebody, their results are so crazy, there's no reason for them to leave. And then I have a bunch of clients who I do one-offs for and things like that, and they're very successful as well. And these clients do come back for repeat work. Sometimes they might not need month to month services but they do need work i'm here to talk about the clients that get the best results and why it's very very important for you as a business owner watching this video to literally mind your business i mean everybody knows that phrase like mind your business the term came to me when i was talking to dr pace one of my longest clients actually the first client that i had when i rebranded this digital marketing firm he was getting like ridiculous results i mean like wildly viral results it's going on two years now it hasn't stopped He's still getting wild results. He's able to release new products, have an immediate fan base. And long story short, I was letting him know, you know, cause he's always so grateful and I'm always just as grateful. I was letting him know like, yo bro, you're only getting these results because you literally mind your business. To bring sense to what that means is Dr. Pace is a chiropractor. He doesn't need to be studying the next social media trend, figuring out what's going on with the algorithm, how to post this post properly or how to edit videos. He doesn't need to be doing that, right? Because that's gonna take away from him running his business. This is exactly why I'm in business because most business owners they need marketing they obviously know they need marketing but what happens is you get some business owners that are afraid to spend money on marketing so they go ahead and try to do it themselves I understand if you're just starting your business and you don't have the funds to go and hire a marketing agency or a marketing firm or a brand partner marketing engineer growth operator so many names right now you might not have the money to do that but you need to figure out how you can build relationships with the right people what you can do to barter services maybe you might not have the money but if you're in business then you have a product or service. You might want to offer that, right? And that's just a solution. But at the end of the day, if you are minding your business, you don't have time to mind other businesses, right? And there are five functions to every single business. If you're watching this video and you want me to drop the five functions, just comment five functions and I'll drop the five functions. I'm going to talk about the fifth and most important function of every business, which is marketing. Because if you don't have marketing, then you don't have awareness, then you can't drive sales. And if you can't drive sales, that means your business is not making money. So marketing is the most important part of a business. If you invest a lot of your time and money into marketing, you will see the results. If you're doing it the wrong way, you're gonna see results as well. But regardless, you're gonna see the results. For the people that I work with, if you really want these wild results, a constant flow of leads coming to your business, if you want these leads to be nurtured and you want them to opt in and buy something, purchase something, you gotta literally mind your business. I consider myself a marketing engineer because marketing is the umbrella. Marketing is the overall concept and you have a bunch of factors that go into marketing, like advertising, like promotion, brand branding, public relationships. There are just so many. Overall, it's all marketing. And marketing is simply getting the message out for what your business can do, how your business can help people, what solutions you offer. It's literally getting the message if out. If you're not getting the message out, people are probably not aware of what you offer. What may happen is you are literally going to find yourself going down a rabbit hole, trying to figure out what you have to do for your social media and how to get your brand more exposure and how to get more leads. You should not be worrying about that unless your job is to market. The way that I handle marketing is I come from a filmmaking background, a cinematography background. So I'm, I'm always interested in the story, I'm always interested in how the visuals look. And I take that same concept and I apply psychological factors to it. Like when I'm online marketing, I'm not marketing to bots, I'm marketing to people. <laughs> you got to understand people, you have to understand yourself. The filmmaking background plus the psychological aspect and I'm a tech savvy person. I've had to do so many things when it comes to tech that I've had to troubleshoot so much, I'm going to figure it out. Being that we're going into a digital age and space, I feel like everybody should at least be a little bit tech savvy, but it's those three elements that separate me from anybody else when it comes to digital marketing. Me and my entire firm approach things from a filmmaking standpoint, specifically cinematography. We also include psychological factors because we know we're dealing with people. And then last but not least, being very strategic, we understand that you have to be tech savvy to know what's going on with the algorithm and how you should properly position yourself. There is a lot that goes into it. This alone is a business by itself. So if you're a business owner watching this video, you want to focus on what your business is on, right? Another one of my clients, shout out to Mr. Vegan. He is somebody that simply knows I just want to cook. I know how important the rest of this stuff is as far as marketing and content, but I just want to cook. I don't want to have to worry about that. I don't want to have to go out and learn it. So we partnered up almost about two years ago now. Wild, phenomenal results. 
since then. And if you want wild results, if you want to go viral, if you want to tap in with my digital marketing firm, if you want to see how this stuff works, I'm going to leave the link. Make sure you fill out the form to get a free consultation. Also, if you head over to my website, I'm giving you guys the free ebook, how I started making all of these posts go viral. If you can do it over and over and over again, that means you have a method. That means you have a system. So I'm giving you guys my system on how I make majority of my posts go viral. I'm giving you guys a system on how I build these accounts up when I'm marketing for different people. Go over to my website, the link in the description. Go get that ebook for free. If you are interested and you're a business owner watching this video and you want to know about how I can help your business grow, how you can get more exposure, how you can get more clients, how you can get more sales, please go ahead and fill out the form to book yourself a free consultation with me where we can sit down for 30 minutes. I'll go over your business. We'll look at some things and we'll put a blueprint and a game plan together to get you started. All we do is numbers. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's fire. Could I go over there? I'm out. I love y'all.